Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. I have a confession to make. I have never played Avalon Hill's Freedom in the Galaxy, though I've owned it about three times. This is the third copy I've owned. This is the Star Rebellions 5764 AD. Apparently it was influenced by Star Wars, I've been told, and I've also been told it's a great game. So let's take a look at it and see what the components look like and see how the rule book is. Join the Rebellion for Freedom in the Galaxy. In a remote corner of the universe, a small but valiant band of rebels struggle to withstand the oppression of an empire bent on total domination. The empire oppressor of billions throughout the galaxy has felt the first sting of rebel anger. In the cities and vast wilds of planets circling the farthest stars, the sparks of insurrection are being fanned by the courageous few who cry for freedom in the galaxy. Freedom in the Galaxy is a strategic and tactical simulation of this epic galactic struggle played on a map that schematically represents some 30-odd solar systems, the playing pieces representing armed forces, spaceships, imperial characters, and individual rebels interact to destroy their enemies and win the hearts and minds of various races and planets. It says there's a star system game, a province game, and a galactic game. Star system game is uh, rated 4 on a scale of complexity from 1 to 10. The province game is rated a 7. And the galactic game is rated a 10. Wow. All right, guys, let's open this up and see what's inside. Comes with lots of cards. These ones look like they're character cards or something. They got statistics for the character on the back. Here are some other character cards. These are in gray. I don't know if these are for the opposing forces or what. This one's Senator Dermon. It's got all his points on the back. And these are galactic events. Little events that can occur during the game. And over here we have possession cards. The first thing I thought when they said possession, I was like, wait, like a, a possessing a person's body? But no, it, it looks like it's actual items that they just call them possessions. Strategic assignments. Province 3 to Province 4. Here's some action cards. Looks like uh, it's different depending on if it's urban, special, or wild. All right, and here we have, what are these things? Mission results. This one's sabotage. And here's the counters. They're pretty rudimentary, but I'm sure they're functional. This game has a good reputation, so There's some more here. And some more. Good, he kept the blank counters. That's good because sometimes when you sell a game, let's say the game's supposed to have 100 counters, and it had 100 counters, but only 90 of them were actually playable counters. The other 10 were blank, so people throw those out sometimes. And then if you get one of these purists, and they're thinking about buying the game, even though you explain them, all the playable counters are there. It's just the blank ones are missing. They don't want to buy it then. So uh, if you collect games, my advice to you is to always keep the blank counters. A uh, lot less hassles and problems when you're trying to sell the stuff. All right, this is a Galactic Guide. I believe this is kind of fluff about the universe here. It's talking about star-faring races, sovereigns, different creatures. Quite a few creatures in here. And here's uh, characters, like the Imperial characters. And now it's going over possessions. And planet secrets. All right, let's take a look at the charts. Don't worry, we'll get to the rule book in, in a bit. What does this have here? Is this just, oh, it's several pages. All right. 
So it's got a detection table, military combat results table, search table, squad chart. I rate locals charts and must be for the city of Chicago. Uh, character combat results table, planet control summary, force point cost chart, and hyper jump table. And here's your endurance charts. Here's the rules. Let's see how many pages this is. 31, 32 pages of rules. So it's a hefty rule book. But it sounds like there's a, a beginner and a, a advanced version of this game, so that's good. How to learn to play the game. Read the rules. Here it's going over different counters and what the values mean. Environ combat strength, space combat strength. And here's how to play the star system game. Here's a star system sequence of play. You got an operations phase which consists of a movement segment, enemy reaction segment, military combat segment, and then you have the search phase followed by the mission phase. We have a mission assignment segment, mission action segment, and bonus draw segment. And then the per Imperial player turn looks like they're just repeating what which, uh, the other side did on their turn. Now it's talking about the galaxy here. And here it's talking about the characters in detail. So the galaxy has, pr uh, there's provinces and star systems and planets. Going over planetary defense bases. Here's the movement rules. Moving from planet to planet. There's a detection routine. And here's the stacking rules. Quite a bit of rules there. So, Environ military combat. I assume that means we're all wearing an environmental suit. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. I've never played the game. Here's your search rules. Character combat. Here's taking wounds, and here's your missions. Now it's talking about drawing action cards, and going over possessions here. And here's characters who do not go on missions. It's going over rebel spaceships, rebellion and planetary control, controlling a planet. and other effects on planet control. And that's the end of the star system rules. So here's the star system scenarios. This one's flight to Egrix. And then the Veru powder keg. So at least you get two scenarios out of reading the basic part of the rules. Now there's a province game which has a sequence of play here. That has a operations phase which has an interplanetary military movement segment, military space combat segment, character movement segment, surface military movement segment, enemy reaction segment, and an environ military combat segment followed by an orbit organization segment. And then you have a search phase and a mission phase, and, and then the Imperial player turn goes. Here's talking about force points and military units. And here's province game movement. Going over detection and doing raking attacks. Hyper jumping and space combat. Star, going over starfaring races and the domino effect. And here's missions in the province game. And here's characters, home planets, and royalty. Quite a bit to this. 
Here's a province game scenario. So you have the Empire's back door and Orlog besieged. And now here's the Galactic game. The sequence of play, you have a galactic stage where you have a galactic events, resource points, and an imperial strategic assignment phase. And then you have an operation phase, search phase, mission phase, and the next player goes, and the second player goes, rather. And then, I guess this takes up to four players here. Or, is that four players? No, second rebel and second imperial player. Okay, gotcha. It's going over planet secrets. Galactic events, Imperial resources and taxation, and Rebel resources in the Rebel secret phase, secret base rather. And here's Imperial strategic assignments, Imperial atrocities. Here's the scenarios. Um, it looks like there's just one scenario. Okay, for the Galactic game. So that's a hefty set of rules there. All right, let's see what else is in this box. Here's your game turn record track. You got a rebel resources track. Uh, there's game turn record right there. Uh, and then it's going over the galactic game sequence of play. Environ types. And an Imperial Resource Track. Here's your interns charts. Looks like the last owner made photocopies of them. That's good. Here's more charts and tables. Looks like this is a photo. Oh, he made some photocopies of it. That's good. And more photocopies of stuff. Alright, here's the map. It's a mounted map. Looks alright for an old game. I don't know if these are star cities or what the story... Or, or not star cities, uh, star systems. Thanks for watching, guys. This looks like a pretty substantial game. And it looks like it's going to take some effort to learn the rules. But who knows, maybe it'll turn out to be a great game like I keep being told. Have a good evening.